Hello friends, look at what an interesting exercise we have here. Let's solve it. We need to find the shaded area of the figure. Alright, that was Eiki Poa-san. Eh, eh, eh. Here's what we're going to do. The shaded area will be equal to area 1, which will be the entire area of this big semicircle here. Minus area 2, which is the area of this semicircle that is blank here. Poa! Alright, more on area 3, which is going to be the area of this entire medium-sized semicircle right here. Except for area 4, which, guess what, is the area of this small semicircle here. So everything is clear. Then let's continue. We have that the shaded area is equal to area 1, since we know that all areas are semicircles. This summons number say, then it gives us 3 times radius squared over 2. Let's call the radius of the large semicircle x. From here to here, it will be x. Perfect. So here it's not r, but x. Minus area 2, area 2. Remember, it was this right here. So, we need its radius. We know it will be p times radius squared over 2. Very well. And what would be the radius of this part here? Pay close attention, because the diameter is going to be equal to what? Tas it is. and is thinking. Ah, from here to here. Which is x and from here to here. Which we will call y. The side is san is in sananisia. Alright, then. It would be x plus y would be the diameter, right? X plus y. Alright, and the radius would be, the radius would be equal to x plus y over 2. Perfect. So we're going to replace that here with x plus 10 over 2. We have here x plus y over 2. And all of this squared. Great. Plus area 3. Let's check area 3. Let's erase this here. Let's check what we have. The diameter of this semicircle, remember that this is the area we want. The diameter will be equal. From here to here, it's x. Because it's the radius of the large semicircle. And also, from here to here, it's fine. Because it's the radius of the small semicircle. So x plus y. And the radius is going to be equal to x plus y over 2. So, we have pre multiplied by x plus y over. Also saying, I'm to see my ends. 2 and all this squared and all this over 2 because we are talking about a semicircle. Fantastic. Now finally, we'll have area 4, which is this part here, so we have less. B times the radius squared divided by 2, and the radius is 10. Great. And look at this wonder. Here we have the same term here and here. We can eliminate this one here with this gentleman here. Those are so Alright, ladies and gentlemen, what we have left is the shaded area. That's pi x squared over 2 minus pi. It's none. I say, im ya, say, say, and squared over 2. And you might say, but it's not over yet. Of course it's not. So what are we missing? Pay close attention because here we have a line that measures 4. And it is perpendicular to the diameter of the semicircle. We can draw a line from this point to the center of the semicircle. Like this. Take a look. We draw it and we get a right triangle because there will also be 90 degrees here. This line from here to here, which would be the hypotenuse. Well, it's going to be x. This here is going to be x, because it's the radius of the large semicircle. Alright then, can we apply Pythagoras? Of course we can. Pythagorean theorem, let's put it here. Pythagorean theorem, very well. Okay, this i squared, 4 squared, is going to be equal to the sum, sorry, the difference between the hypotenuse squared, which is x squared, minus the other side squared, which would be their squared. So here, we have 16 equals x squared minus y squared. And we have the exercise solved. Pay close attention because we are going to factor out here pi over 2. Taking pi over 2 as a common factor, we have x squared minus y squared very well. Very well. And notice that x squared plus 10 squared, well, we've got it. Is 8, sorry, 16. So here we have it multiplied by 16. All right, everyone. Simplifying here, we get that the shaded area is going to be equal to 8p square units. Awesomely, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and give it a like so you don't miss upcoming challenges.